This is ETV, entertainment television everywhere in the Treasure Valley. Brought to you by Boise Weekly, Citadel Radio, and KBOI TV2. Hello, and welcome to ETV, entertainment television everywhere in the Treasure Valley. I'm your host, Brad Rowan. Well, it seems the Masters Golf Tournament is underway this week, and of course you can catch it here right here on CBS2, and there's a little bonus buzz going on. Thanks, Tiger. So uh, we've decided here at ETV that I should pull out a yellow shirt that I haven't worn for five years, and we're going to dedicate this show to golf. So it's golf week here. We're going to show you everything that you need to get set and ready as golf season approaches. But, of course, we want to get you started off with all the cool stuff that's going on in the Treasure Valley, and we're going to start it off with Sean the Movie Guy and all the latest movies. Sean? My wife and I are on a date. We were hoping to get here earlier, actually get a table. You didn't quite make it, did you? We'll be standing over there. Okay, I've already forgotten about you. Right. Even though they're not CBS sitcoms, I am a fan of both The Office and 30 Rock. So the thought of Steve Carell and Tina Fey teaming up for the comedy Date Night sure sounds promising. Thank you for all of your help, and I am being sarcastic. Carell and Fey play a married couple who head off to New York City for a night out. They steal another couple's reservation at a fancy restaurant, which leads to a case of mistaken identity and a night on the run from some bad guys. Basically, their date night spirals out of control into a full-blown comic misadventure. It's the perfect movie for your own date You night. don't have to be married to go on a date night. Nope. You, you can be divorced. You could go with a Build-A-Bear if you buy a ticket for that bear. You could. You could. I wouldn't. <laughs> no. Dear God, can you see the stars from heaven? My mom says I'll be sick for a while. But it'll be okay. Now this week's other opener is Letters to God. The story of a young cancer patient who writes letters to the Almighty, not realizing that his words and faith will have a profound impact on his mailman and those around him. Letters to God. This kid on my route is writing these. So what am I supposed to do with these? It's your journey, Brady. And that's what's new at the movies this week. I'm Sean McBride, the movie guy for ETV. And Sean, the movie guy, joins us now. Sean, how's it going? It's going well. Good week for movies here. Hey, uh, we've talked a little bit about Date Night and right. also Letters to God in the package there. But I want to mention, over at the Flicks, they have a pretty cool little murder mystery. Quite frankly, one of my favorite murder mysteries of the uh, last year. A Swedish film based on a novel that's hugely popular. I think a lot of people know about this. Nice. The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo. Great little film. It's Swedish, so right. you'll have to read the subtitles here. But, you know, a story about this guy that's investigating an old-timey murder mystery that may have some Nazi implications and he's aided by this young hacker, uh, a, a girl with a dragon tattoo who's right. a, a, you know, an internet hacker. So it's a great little murder mystery. So check that out over at the Flex. Sounds like a great film noir. Yeah, yeah, a Swedish film noir. So you know it's pretty <laughs> dark. So uh, Hey, let's talk about uh, DVD. There are some uh, interesting things out there. I guess the big one is probably either Nicolas Cage in uh, Port of Call, uh, Bad Lieutenant Port of Call, New Orleans, or The Lord of the Rings is finally coming out on Blu-ray. Uh, but let's uh, talk about one of my favorite films from the Southwest, uh, South by Southwest Film Festival two years ago, The Yes Men Save the World. Now tell, uh, me, tell me about this. This is a story about these two uh, guys who decide to punk corporations, and they're trying to call them out for their bad environmental practices or, you know, just not being good global citizens. It's kind of a fun little documentary about, uh, you know, these guys who just don't like the G8 and they, you know, they just make trouble for them. A lot of fun. Sounds like a hoot. Uh, you know, I'm, I, I actually just saw the Corporation mm -hmm. DVD, so it sounds like it's right up that alley. Similar. So, okay, very quickly, let's go over to uh, local theater because, you know, the last couple of weeks we haven't had a lot on local theater, but uh, they're starting up again. So okay. here we go. Uh, Namaste Man over at the uh, Boise Contemporary Theater. They're in previews this week, so if you want to save some money, go see the previews. Okay. So, uh, they'll be running through uh, May 1st. Basically, you know, in Nepal, nam Namaste means both hello and goodbye, so it's the story of Andrew Weems. He's a guy who was born in the U.S. military hospital in Seoul, and he grew up in Zambia and Nepal, and uh, just all over the place. Uh, he tells the story of his unconventional childhood, right? We also have 12 Angry Men opening up at Boise Little Theater. Uh, that's this weekend starts. It runs through the 24th. And basically, you, you remember Henry Fonda's uh, 1957 movie with Sidney Lumet, right? About this, these guys, this guy that's been accused of murder and his 12 jurors debating right. his guilt or his innocence. So, classic opening up this week at Boise Little Theater. Oh, sounds good. 